Elderan, the latest 2D action metroidvania to hit the indie scene. In the world of Elderan, a mercenary has been discovered. The one who legend has foretold will vanquish the evil Certhorus? I don't know, demon name, whatever. A nasty storm washes your lead character ashore, of whom you'll create with a very limited editor, and then off you go, bearded or clean shaven, to explore the dark world that has befallen you. That's pretty much it for the setup. As I mentioned, you can discover notes strewn about Elderan, but being cryptic in nature, and honestly, not all that well written, the plot never managed to sink its hooks into me. It's there and it's fine, but shall not be a selling point. So then, with a ho-hum narrative, Elderan relies on its action gameplay to carry players forward, and thankfully it's quite good. Your basic platforming and attacking feel responsive, and make vanquishing demons good fun. Elderan also offers a nice variety of playstyles through its upgrade system, which allows you to build your character however you see fit. I personally pumped all of my skill points into strength and health, which resulted in an almighty, somewhat overpowered warrior that was able to take down many foes, including the game's bosses with ease, but I'd be lying if I said that wasn't a satisfying experience. If you prefer Elderand offers magical spells with staffs and even ranged combat if you'd like to put a greater emphasis on using your bow. Players can even mix and match a bit as you'll be able to switch weapon sets with the press of a button. But for me, it was all about a sword-shield combination. That's just the way I enjoy playing these games. If you prefer using whips, daggers, knives, bows, or whatever other weapons and secrets you discover, feel free to experiment to your heart's content. The game definitely encourages you to do so. However you build your character who grows stronger through skill points which are earned from defeating foes, Elderand's combat system will surprise nobody, but it is efficient, fun, and effective. Dodging enemies and learning attack patterns isn't frustrating, as it can be in Souls-like games and other overly difficult Metroidvanias. In fact, on the difficulty scale, I think the developers of Elderand have struck a really nice balance that manages to feel challenging, but fair. Yes, I did overpower my character a bit, but there were still plenty of challenges that I encountered. The game's map, on the other hand, is not terrible, but I do feel like it could have been a bit better. Bonfires which act as saves, vendors who sell you potions and other goods, and portals to other dimensions are well laid but you also have red squares which indicate points of interest. That's nice, but as I got about halfway through the game and, well, became lost as I tend to in this genre, things grew more confusing. Points of interest don't always vanish from your map, which leads to a good amount of wandering and revisiting areas that you've already been to. Could be a me problem though, as I tend to be a bit directionally challenged. Still, the fast travel system is well done, and it made getting around this bleak oppressive world a breeze. So while you may become lost and have to bump into walls or eventually stumble your way to the correct destination, at least revisiting areas is made much easier thanks to the teleportation system easily accessed at save points. Worried about losing progress or experience in Elderand? Fear not, as the game is fairly forgiving, with a bevy of campsites available along with shopkeepers that will help to ensure you have plenty of potions stocked away. As for those visuals, they're striking in Elderand and feature lovingly crafted pixel art accompanied by fantastic animation work. Lovecraftian nightmares roam this world with backdrops that successfully leave the player unsettled. I enjoyed discovering each new area of the map as I knew it would play host to demonic creatures, moody lighting, and atmosphere, and a fantastic set of musical compositions. Yes, this soundtrack delivers with heroic anthems, mood-setting atmospheric tones, and well-implemented sound effects that bring this grim world to life in both combat and general exploration. Eldoran's simple RPG mechanics, fun combat, and beautiful art design make it a Metroidvania worth exploring. The story fell a bit flat for me, and I did get Get somewhat frustrated and being lost from time to time, but small gripes aside, an easy recommendation that doesn't bring anything new to its genre, but offers up plenty of exciting moments. With over 60 enemies to be slayed, a good assortment of secrets to be discovered, and a nicely sized map for you to attempt getting 100% on, Eldorand is short on originality, but chock full of fun. <laughs>